Pop art. Pop art is an art movement in which ordinary objects, such as comics, soup cans, road signs, and hamburgers, are used as subjects and often physically incorporated into the work. Pop art was an art movement that emerged in England and America in the late 1950s and 1960s. British art critic Lawrence Alloway gave it the name, pop art. By using this term, he was referring to the mediocrity of the visual elements used in the paintings and sculptures within this movement. The distinctive feature of pop art artists is that they paint indiscriminately all aspects of popular culture that have a strong influence on contemporary life. The visual elements they used were taken from televisions, comics, movie magazines and all kinds of advertisements. These visual elements were presented precisely and objectively, with great directness without any praise or blame, and using commercial techniques used by the media from which they were borrowed. Pop art represented an attempt to return to a more objective and universally acceptable art form after the dominance of the highly personal abstract expressionism in the United States and Europe. At the same time, he rejected both the sublimity of the high art of the past and the pretensions of other contemporary avant-garde arts. Pop art has become a cultural phenomenon because it closely reflects a certain social situation and its easily understandable images are immediately used by the mass media. Although critics of pop art described it as vulgar, sensational, unesthetic and a joke, its adherents saw it as a democratic and non-discriminatory art, bringing together experts and uneducated audiences. Pop art was an extension of the Dada movement, a nihilistic movement in the 1920s that mocked the seriousness of Parisian art at the time and, more broadly, the political and cultural situation that brought war to Europe. The pioneer of the Dada movement in the United States, Marcel Duchamp, who sought to narrow the gap between art and life by glorifying mass-produced objects of his time, was the most influential person in the development of pop art. Other 20th-century artists who influenced pop art were Stuart Davis, Gerard Murphy and Fernand Leger. All these artists depicted mass production and commercial materials of the industrial machine age in their paintings. The direct pioneers of pop artists were American artists Jasper Johns, Larry Rivers and Robert Rauschenberg. In the 1950s, these artists painted flags, beer cans, and other similar objects, albeit in a pictorial and expressive technique. Pop art has taken striking forms in the work of some artists. Roy Lichtenstein's reproductions of illustrated novels stylized with the tram dots and solid colors of the commercial press. Andy Warhol's careful one-to-one -one illustrations and screen prints of soup box labels, soap cartons and soda bottles, object sculptures such as bathroom accessories. Typewriters and giant hamburgers made by Clays Oldenburg using soft plastic. Tom Wesselman's The Great American Nude, flat, direct illustrations of faceless sex symbols. And George Segal's constructions of human height plaster cast figures placed in real environments. Most pop art artists pursued an impersonal attitude in their works. However, some examples of pop art contain a nuanced social criticism. For example, Oldenburg's drooping and loose objects and Warhol's monotonous repetitions of the same banal image have an undeniably disturbing effect. And some examples of pop art, like Seagal's mysterious and somber works, are overtly expressive. Pop art was not taken seriously by the public but it was critically accepted as an art form suitable for the high-tech, mass-media-driven Western societies of Western countries.